And now, a minute from our conservation partner, the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. My name is Aaron Adams. I'm the Director of Science and Conservation for Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. And today I'm going to talk to you about our need to focus on habitat for the future of our fisheries. Any fisherman worth his salt knows that healthy habitat makes for healthy fisheries. If you have a lot of healthy habitat, you have abundant fish. That's just the way it is. If you have a fish in a place that the habitat is threatened or degraded, your fishing is just not going to be as good. Unfortunately, that perspective is not incorporated into the way we manage our fisheries. Instead, fisheries are managed by looking at the number of fish the managers think are in the water, they estimate how many fish are harvested, how many die after being released, do their own sampling, and has nothing to do with habitat whatsoever. So in Florida, we've already lost large portions of our fish habitat. 50% of our mangroves are gone. Over 2 million acres of wetlands are gone. Tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of uh, acres of seagrass are gone. So our fisheries right now can't be as productive as they were, say, 50 years ago because there's not as much habitat. We have to change the way our resources are managed if we're going to have healthy fisheries in the future. It's that simple. The only way to do this is to change the way uh, FWC and other agencies manage habitats, not the way they manage fisheries. Those are done well, but they have to include habitat in fisheries management. If we continue to lose habitats, it doesn't matter how well they manage the fisheries, the game is, is over. To learn more, visit BTT.org.